Hey, it's Patty here from PS Paper Crafts, and um, I wanted to show you how to make a card using this Varied Vases stamp set. This was um, a stamp set that was designed by Mary Fish. She was one of our newest um, million dollar sales people, and they get to um, design their own stamp set. So I love this. It comes with a punch. So the punch has different vases, and then this leaf, um, and this tulip top. It's really great. Um, you can punch out solid, the lines, you can make a design. You know, you could stamp them and then punch them or you could just punch them. And that's what I did today was I just punched them. I didn't stamp them. And I'm punching them with this um, designer series paper, which I'm so happy this was in last year's catalog and it's back. It's in the new catalog. So um, I have a lot of scraps of this I made I don't know if you, if you saw my post. Um, I made this card for the swaps when I went to the Stampin' Up! convention. And I have all these leftover pieces that I kept. So always keep your leftover pieces. So I did... These two have this basket weave. They're kind of small so you don't see it. Um, so I thought I would, I don't know, try, try a couple others. Maybe on the bigger ones. Or you could just try the smooth... Um, so I, I did a bunch of, of vases and tried different things. Um, so let's cut out our vases first. Let's get started with that. So the punch, um, you just unlock the back of it. And then I like to feed it through. Um, and you can punch out, depending on the size of your paper, a lot of the same, um, with the same paper, a lot of the same vases. So these are some looks with that. Um, I'll do this one as well, and we'll see which ones we like the best. So I'm not going to punch too many of these. Um, let's see. I have my card base. This color is the Call Me Clover. That's one of the new ink colors, and then I have the inside and the outside. So let's get one of these, and we can just fuss around with it. I kind of did um, a, the big ones on the inside, and then and I actually have some other ones um, that I already punched out. I have a bunch of them <laughs> over on the side that I punched out, so I didn't want to have you seeing everything punched out. I'm not sure I like that. Um, I do have these. So you just play around and see what you like. I think I'll go with these. Okay? But if you don't like this basket weave, you just do all the plain, you could stamp it, you can do whatever you want. I mean, that's the how versatile uh, these kinds of projects are with the, the different um, stamps and, and punches and things like that. So what I'm going to do first, actually, I have these, I'll set them aside. Um, I'm going to stamp this and I am going to whip out my new Stamparatus. So excited. I haven't played too much with it. I've been watching some videos. It really, um, you could do a lot with it. It's pretty cool. And when I went to convention, uh, I stayed at Sandra Hernandez's house and she got this for me. A person on her team, Carolyn Helmick, made this and um, she gave them to her team and she gave one to me. So I was really excited. So when you unzip it, that really has Velcro there. And then I'll take out my Stamparatus. There's instructions. Put that all aside. I have it upside down. So there's two magnets that are on the bottom. And you want to just be careful that you don't let those magnets touch each other. Don't even bring them close because they will um, break, or they could break, if they, if they touch each other. So I'm going to feed these in. Now these plates, there's um, this foam plate if you're using the uh, photopolymer stamps. If you're using red rubber, you don't need this. Um, there's a grid line underneath here. These are gridded. So you can put a stamp here, 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 and here. And you can just lift it up and flip it. I'm only going to, I'm not going to do all the stamping on this. And the other thing is, I have it sticking to a stamp. You never want to close it with one plate in. Um, you don't want to close the other plate on top of it. So you just have to be careful of a few things like that. So I'm going to take these stamps out. I'm just going to use it for these. These I hand stamped 
without the Stamparatus, and they lined up pretty easily. This I had a hard time. I think it's because it's so narrow. So I said, well, I've got the Stamparatus. Might as well use it. So let me just take these two out, and I'll show you how I did it. I stamped it in this Call Me Clover color, and I'm just going to, I'm going to try it on a piece of scrap paper first that I cut down just to um, make sure I have it lined up good. So I'm going to get one of the magnets in the back. I'm just going to use one magnet. And I'm not putting it in the corner. Um, I think sometimes it picks up too easily when it's in the corner. So I'm going to lay my stamp. This one is the, the green, and then this is the black outline. And I think the black outline is just very narrow for you to see it. And I want to make sure it's up high enough so I can put my birthday wishes on. So I think that's about right. I'll just leave it like that, and then I'm going to just press down, and it will pick up the stamp. It does pick up the paper a little bit. You just always want to make sure it's it's back up top. Um, so let me get my stamp pad and open that up. This is one of the new colors, and it's the new stamp pad. So it opens like a compact, and then you slide it. So it's a little bit different. And then on this... Let me just move this out of the way so I have more room. And you can see what I'm doing here. So you ink this up. And the beauty of this is if you didn't ink it up good enough, you can go back and do it again. And then I'm just going to press it down, just pressing on here, and then pick it up. See, now it's not inked up really good, so I could just go over and do it again. This is my scrap, so I don't care, but just so you get the idea. So it's perfect. Now, let me get the black. And what you do is you line up your stamp. Let's make sure I'm in camera here, good enough. I don't have a lot of room here, so <laughs> it makes it difficult. Let's get that out of the way. So you'll line up your stamp just so it's perfect. That looks good. And then you take this plate and you do the same thing. So now that's perfect. So now I'm going to stamp this up with black memento. And come down and press and there you go it's perfect so if I were stamping a whole ton of cards I would um, I would be able to just repeat 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 now let me get my card stock and I'm going to put it right here I want to make sure that it's right in the same place Now, if you did it in the corner, you could do that, but I just found that the corner was, um, and I actually got ink on this. So let me do the inside. Where is that other piece of cardstock? Well, let me do it this way. So I'm just lining it back up. And it doesn't have to be perfect here. And then I'll put this up here. And then I'm going to ink up my green. It's very juicy. And push that down. And you really just need to push on the stamp itself. And then lift it up. And I'm going to just go down here again. of fuzz here. Let me do this one more time. Now you'll see this ink up there, but I'm not pressing down up there. Okay. And then I'll do the black. Sorry about that. 
This was stuck to, but I have stamps all around because there's a lot of stamps that I'm using on this card. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to just take this off and get this out of the way. I'll clean it up later just to get them out of the way. Okay, so now I am going to get my paper. I'm trying to figure out where that other sheet went. Oh, here it is. Okay, now I've got myself under control here. <laughs> um, so now what I did was I just kind of lined up, let me just put this over here, um, my vases, how I would want them, and I didn't put them down yet. I just kind of laid them out so I could figure out my flowers. And then the flowers, I did all the stems in the memento. And I just kind of tried to figure out where to place them. So let's get that started. Um, we'll do, let's see, the first one. Trying to find that stamp. Here it is. It fell in the back. So this is this beautiful orchid. So I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to try to just judge. Remove this. This went off the paper. Perfect. And I did all my black first. Um, so let me do this one here and that also went off the paper. Kind of did them in a certain order here and I wanted this to be low um, so I probably shouldn't have inked up the bottom let me just get a piece of scrap and make sure I don't go off there I'll just go like that hopefully that looks okay and then we'll get this one and this is a taller vase so you kind of have to worry about the stem and the size of the vase and all of that so that one will be up a little higher plenty of room there and then this last one this is the one i used recently in another video let me just make sure it looks clean it looks orange I didn't wash it <laughs> so this one we'll just put here okay so we have all our outsides done and now we're going to do the inside so I did this one in the new color called pineapple punch and these were pretty easy to line up you just have to look over it so if my head gets in the way it's just because I'm trying to line up perfectly. Let me get rid of the black here. So, you just really have to look over it and take your time and line up all the edges and then press down. And then, let me just pull these down so we're not making a mess. Let's find this one is in the lovely lipstick color. I love that name. So this one, see how new and fresh all these ink pads are? I have to dive into them. Just make sure it looks good. Okay, and again, you're going to look through and you'll see all the black lines and edges and just take your time and line it up. I'm a little bit off there, but I think it's okay. And then this one is in the Grapefruit Grove. And here's the insides for this one. Let me just make sure it looks good. A little bit hard to do this because the the camera is right where my head is so just bear with me and then the, the uh, what is it call me clover I have to get the new names down 
I'm going to stamp off first because I really didn't want it to be so bold. So I'm stamping off, and this one you kind of have to roll it around, and I looked for that top flower and try to get it dead on here. Okay. And then let's do the inside. So on the inside, I did just the clear vase in black, and then I did this orchid again in the yellow. So let's get that going. And I think I just got ink all over my fingers. These are kind of juicy, so let me just get... I don't want to get it on the card. Now I have green fingernails. Lovely, right? Okay. Let's get the inside going, and that's over here, and we'll put this aside. And so I just took the vase, or vase, depending on how you say it, and I'll just ink this and stamp it right here. And then I'm going to ink the sentiment and put that up as well. Hoping your day blooms with happiness. I think that's perfect for this card. And then we'll do the flower, and that's also in black. And then we'll do the inside in the, um, the yellow. Okay. Top on the black and get rid of that. And then we've got the pineapple punch. And this is the one for this one. And again, just look over the whole thing. Take your time. Isn't that pretty? You can color these in too if you um, feel more comfortable with that. So then we just have to put everything together. Oh, and I have to do the birthday wishes. Let me get the birthday wishes. And I like to let the black dry a little bit, so that's why I'm kind of leaving things go for a few minutes. So put that up. Make sure this looks good. Let's try that again. Okay, isn't that a pretty font? Okay, now we can put things together. So I put the vases down with a little bit of the liquid glue. You can use whatever you want, but I thought it would give me the time to um, just move them around and get them in the right place. You only need a little bit of this. And I like to leave my liquid glue laying on its side. And I just put them right down to the line here. And it also helps if you have something that's um, embossed. It gives you, which this is, it gives you um, better um, adhesive to, to keep it down in place. Okay. We'll get this one. And then we can put the, the base on top and the inside in. It's been raining here in Florida every day. So it's nice that I have a day. I film by my window and when it's cloudy, it makes it hard. So I'm trying to get things in today before it rains. It's supposed to rain again the rest of the week, so we need the rain so it's good, but sometimes it's a little too much. Okay, so there we have it. I think it's really cute. I love this set. Um, I think she did a really good job, Mary Fish. I really like her work. She's uh, clean and simple, and I like that look. So, if you ever get a chance to check out her work, you could find it and uh, 
I think you'll like it. Okay, we'll just put this down, try to center it, and then we'll put this down and we're done. So another card. There's so many new sets, I can't wait for you guys to be able to um, order from the catalog. There's really some great things out there, so they outdid themselves with this year's catalog. And if you need a catalog, just leave me a message and I'll be sure to get you one. Um, so these are the cards, and I hope you enjoyed them, and stay tuned for my next video. You have a good day. Thanks. Bye.